Hello everyone, this is my first video of 2023 so I just want to start off by wishing you all a very happy new year, um, you know, wishing you all the best of health and happiness. I do want to start off this year by doing something in my Daphne's diary journal. Um, I did a few pages before Christmas that were Christmas themed, absolutely love these pages, I've done a couple more which, oh these ones here, absolutely love these but there are so many beautiful images in this gorgeous magazine. Now, of course, it's the 5th of January today, so officially the last day of Christmas. I don't want this to be, you know, particularly festive related, but I want to try and use some of these gorgeous images if I can. I've also got issue number seven, which is the autumn magazine. So, you know, I want to pull from some of the beautiful images that are in this magazine as well. So let's see what we can come up with. For my first page, I want to use this. I've cut this out of the magazine from somewhere and we've also got this beautiful scrapbooking page as well. So I'm just going to tear this out and let's see if we can do something with this. Now, having said that, which um, side do I like the best? I think colour-wise that one probably um, goes better. Now I want to work in the first page here just because this background looks like um, fireworks to me so very much um, in keeping with a New Year's theme so let me just take this page out of the journal and let's see what we can do with this. Now I am thinking that I can use this as some kind of a background. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet. Maybe we can make a pocket um, out of this little um, fairy or angel here. I love that. And then of course we need something to tuck inside. Now isn't that weird? I was absolutely convinced that this was going to be the um, piece that I was going to use at the top. And now that I've cut these um, in half, that one was at the top, that one was at the bottom. Now I'm thinking that this one with the stars on actually works better with this image here. Isn't that just so pretty? I think that's beautiful. So I'm just going to take this off to my sewing machine and I'm just going to add some stitching just to, um, along the sides and the bottom, um, just because I just think stitching adds so much and then, you know, we can concentrate on what we're going to add inside. As you can see, I've added my stitching. I've also glued my pocket down just on these three sides here. And for my focal image, I want to use this beautiful bauble. Let's cut this out first, just roughly, and then I'm just going to stick this down just to a piece of thin um, or thinnish cardstock. I don't want anything too thick. This is probably um, 180 GSM, so I'm just going to glue this on and then I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut that out. This is how my bauble looks um, now that I've fussy cut it out. Now, I do want to add just one little embellishment here to my bauble. I'm going to add this um, ribbon. Um, so let me just um, add some fabric glue. Let's add a tad to the back. Here we are. So let's just um, pop this, this down. That's just um, another added... Um, element without adding too much bulk. I also want to add some um, washi tape as well. I've got this um, starry washi tape and I thought um, just a piece of this might look nice um, just along the top um, edge here. And that's the first page done. So of course this can just slot um, inside here as a nice tag embellishment. I really like the um, starry washi tape across the top. I don't know whether you can see the sparkle, but isn't that beautiful? I would also like to do something with um, this page here. I'm just going to tear this out of the magazine. Um, we've got this beautiful rocking horse on the back, but in all honesty, that's too big um, for me to be able to do anything with it. So I'm just going to fussy cut um, to start off with this um, envelope out and also fussy cut out the um, quill pen. 
Okie dokie, so I think that this can go on this page here. I think tonally wise, it goes really well with the background. I can place the quill um, there like that. I've had to cut the envelope down on the sides a little bit. I'm also toying with the idea of cutting out this bird as well. And perhaps I can add this um, as a focal image. I'm not sure because, you know, if that doesn't work, I can add it somewhere else. Now, I was rather hoping that the bird would go on here, something like that. And whilst it looks really pretty, I actually prefer the quill pen. Um, so I've got another idea for this, which I'll do something with a little bit later. So I'm just going to glue this down to start off with. I really like the simplicity of that page. Now I want to do something on this side here and I'm wondering whether I can combine these images here, even perhaps the tag as well. So let's cut this page out. Now this has been a difficult decision because I absolutely love this banner here and I've got um, another idea as to how I wanted to use that but I think I'm going to use this piece here instead so keep watching. Um, so let me try and take this out. The easiest way to get into the awkward pages is to just fold your magazine back and then the pages come out without tearing. Now I've fussy cut my bits out and I'm just going to take this out of the journal and I just want to start off by creating myself some kind of a background. I've got um, a piece of the banner that was left over. I want to try and piece this together. I want my carol to go on here. It's going to have to go straight, I think. So I think I'm just going to stick this down to start start off with. I might bring that um, over a bit and maybe trim trim that down. That's my background and I think it's really pretty, but I'm going to add some of this starry washi tape that I used on um, my first page just to try and disguise that join. I am going to add a tad of glue stick. OK, so that's my background and I think that the washi tape just draws your eye away from the join because it's translucent. It doesn't cover it up, but it just draws your eye away from it. So I want to piece my page together. I cut this bauble out, but I don't know, it covers up too much of the mistletoe. Um, it's too overpowering. It just I don't think it's going to work. So I want the angel. And I want her to go something like this. I've also cut a tiny bauble. Um, I like the reds because, of course, it goes with the reds either side. I've also um, got some of this um, cotton here and I've made myself a bell. So I think I'm just going to glue this on like that. And then I'll have another piece of, uh, of string and um, just dangle my bauble down. So my page will be something like that. So I'm just going to take my time now and piece everything together. I really like how those two pages um, look side by side. So let's finally see if we can do something with this page here. I'm just going to take it out of the journal. Let's just remove the fairy. And I am thinking that I can use um, a piece of this to decorate the flap here. So I'm just going to cut um, a piece of this off. We've got the hollies on and I want to add some text just into the background here. I'm going to use the text from this page. Um, it needs to be cut down to about five by five and a half. I've cut this down so I just need to slot this inside and glue it down. Hopefully I've cut it to the to the right size. Doesn't want to um, go in. Here we go. And then I can manoeuvre it into place and just um, pop it down with a bit of glue. And then I am going to glue my bird on the blue, the bird that I didn't um, use earlier. And I think that's going to make a gorgeous page. Now I am going to um, glue this shut. I don't want to have it as a pocket. This is too flimsy, but I like the way that that looks on the page. 
I just absolutely love this page here and I'm really glad that I found a way to use that bird image and parts of the wreath. So we've got this page here and then three festive pages. Um, I'm really glad that um, that I did these. I know it's a bit late. Um, I just ran out of time over the Christmas period. For, for me, it's just spending time with my family. I shut my YouTube ch uh, channel down pretty much and it's just my time to relax and chill. But, you know, it was such a shame not to use some more of these beautiful images that were in the December or issue eight of this magazine. Um, but I won't be doing any more festive pages now. I will be doing wintry ones. I'll also be going back, I think, to the um, autumn pages as well. And let's see what we can come up with. As I was recording this, there was a knock on the door and DPD did deliver um, the latest edition of the magazine, which is January issue number one. So I'm really excited about doing something with that so you know I will be sharing um, ideas for more pages using that um, throughout the journal but that is it for today so if you've enjoyed these pages do let me know which one is your favorite but of course as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now